Alright. Hey guys, this is Dinosaur Drawer, and um, I just decided to start streaming. So, uh, yeah. This is the first time I'm doing digital art on, uh, on my channel. And, uh, wait. The Mosser YouTube draw a Dinosuchus or Sarcosuchus. Um, alright. Then I would have to get a reference photo. Uh, I don't know how to get the comments and everything on screen, so uh, it's it's kind of hard for me to uh, to do everything at the same time. All right, let's see. I'm I'm just gonna do. Uh, I'm just gonna try to do his head. Just getting my glove on. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you can hear me very uh, clearly. So, uh, if you can, please let me know, or if you can't. All right. Okay, you can hear me perfectly. Okay. So I'm just gonna draw his uh, his head, or part of his head. Seems like he has a big circle-shaped nose. Very big, bumpy nose. Well, let's first get his uh, his actual head in. And then his eye would be around here somewhere, I'm guessing. This would be part of his neck. And of course, he has some very n nasty teeth. So this is a very quick version of the Sarcosuchus. Wait, he's supposed to have a nostril over here. And maybe we can give it some a little bit more detail. Let's give it some scales over here. I have to check in with YouTube once in a while so that uh, <coughs> so that I can see all the comments. Draw a weasel. Well, <laughs> I could try it.
maybe a little bit of a shadow over here. Maybe I made this part a little bit too... Alright, that looks a little bit better. Hello, uh, Modestus Terribiza. I'm not sure how to pronounce every na uh, all the names because there are a lot of uh, names that are hard to pronounce for me. Let's give him a, a little bit of a an eyebrow over there. Not sure if he really had an eyebrow because I'm not really looking at the reference anymore right now. But yeah. I do know he had pretty, um, pretty strong jaw. So well, yeah, that's basically sort of a sarcosuchus. <laughs> All right. Let's see. First digital draw, yay. Um, Dinosuchus top jaw teeth would make small indents in the bottom jaw. Alright, yeah, that's pretty. I mean, like, uh, you see that in, in modern day crocodiles as well, right? You really studied your prehistoric animals. Well, actually, um, the Ceratosaurus thumbnail that you're seeing well that you saw before you uh, clicked on this video ceratosaurus isn't supposed to have feathers but i just uh, thought it was it would look cool with feathers so didn't really study that well i did study it but yeah cameron hodges can i have a shout out well shout out to you <laughs> Um, I'm searching for digital artists because I want to learn from you. Well, uh, if you're looking for uh, for a digital art tutorial or anything like that, I am not good at doing digital art. So let's uh, let's draw something more recent, like Kong from Kong versus Zilla or Zilla versus Kong. Um, I will need to have a reference. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's kind of hard to find the right image. All right, let's just try and do something from my imagination. Um, so if we're drawing Kong, let's first start off with a circle. So this is going to be the base for his head. We want to draw a line in the middle. We want to have like two eyes over here, one, one over here, one over there. And then we can sort of see his, uh, his nostril right there. Then he would have a, his jaw would be more, would come outwards a little bit more than on the human's uh, face. So if we would draw it with uh, an open mouth, it would kind of look like this, because he would raise his lip a little bit. And his jaw would kind of lower down a little bit as well. And then uh, we want to draw the top of his head, which is 
cone shaped his ear would be about over here somewhere and his nose would come up a little bit more it's I drew it a little bit too too low I think and then we can see his the gum of his mouth right here and we can see two huge canine teeth coming out and then just a couple more of those teeth right there we don't really see too much of the gum uh, on his bottom jaw but we do see a couple of teeth um, I think his ears are a little bit too high up I'll just be taking the so I'm actually watching my own live stream on uh, on my phone so that I can uh, so that I can keep track of the comments um, but what was I saying uh, if you if you uh, are looking for a digital artist which, that you can learn from it's probably not uh, I'm probably not the best uh, a teaching digital art because I literally just started doing it myself so yeah um let's see so Kong has a beard in the new movie so we're gonna try and keep that in mind as well he has a lot more hair than in every than in the, the past Kong movie uh, let's focus on his eyes a little bit. So, so let's just zoom and get a smaller brush. Yeah, if I if I don't see your comment in time, I'm really sorry because again, I can I cannot really keep track of the comments too well at this point because it's I don't know how to uh, make them show up on my screen. All right, so his eyebrow would kind of go like this. He has a very big pronounced eyebrow. Right, something like this and then if we would um, add a little bit of detail to his face we would just draw a couple of wrinkles around his eyes I'm doing this very quickly so it's not really gonna be uh, <laughs> it's not gonna look extremely nice by the way we need to pay attention to the fact that his cheekbones are right here so uh, there's going to be hair on them, there's going to be fur on his cheekbones. There will be a lot of wrinkles uh, around his nose as well, by the way. And of course, there's going to be a lot of shadow as well. Let's take a look at the comments again. Um, the mostly YouTube Deco Raptor. Not sure what that is. Sorry that I'm late. Monkey big, monkey strong. <laughs> Are you drawing Kong? Yes, I am drawing Kong um, without a reference. So I'm trying to uh, draw it without uh, have, without being able to look and kind of rely on a image. So uh, it's uh, 
I'm trying something different. <laughs> Let's say it like that. Has anyone watched Godzilla vs Kong yet? I just literally watched it just now, and that's the reason why I decided to draw Kong for now. Let's make it his beard a little bit smaller because it might have I might have gotten it a little bit too big at the start. Alright, so this is the point where we should start looking at uh, where is our light source coming from. And uh, where do we want to have our shadow? Um, let's put the light source about over here. So this is going to be the area for... Uh, well, where the light's gonna come from, more somewhere around over there, actually. Um, so that's gonna make this area of his head a lot darker. It's gonna give a lot more shadow underneath his eye as well, or underneath his eyebrow. I might, I might even ruin it <laughs> in this process. So there's going to be there's also going to be some shadow over here. And we can see some detail. Maybe make let's make this a little bit more like that. And let's make him a little bit more angrier. So uh by the way the reason why I said that I wouldn't really be a great teacher for digital art is because I do digital art exactly the same way as how I would do traditional art so yeah you're not gonna learn anything tra anything uh, digital from me um, fish eater 69 nope wait what he's drawing fish eater Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. So yeah, in the uh, in the new version, he has a lot more hair, a lot more fur than in the uh, in the first Kong movie. So yeah, we're going to try and capture that. This is going to be his neck by the way. So or, may, or his neck muscle. So he has he doesn't really have a long neck. His head is just positioned a lot more um directly on his shoulders than uh, with a human. So on this side there would be a lot less shadow as well for inside of his mouth. We can see a couple of more a couple more teeth. But his lip is just right there. Let's make his canine teeth a little bit more pronounced and all of his other teeth as well. And let's get a little bit of shadow inside of his mouth. We could make his tongue visible slightly but it's just gonna be really dark so I'm not gonna really bother doing detail in his mouth we can do some skin 
folds and everything. Even draw his lip for a little bit right here. Everything is just going to be really dark on this side. Alright, um, what's going on in the comments? What is happening in the chat? Yeah, that's exactly what I was asking. I have no idea, to be honest. So his cheekbone would catch a lot more light than um, everything around it. And over here, it's just going to be... Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of fur and uh, not make it too dark. And we could even get his pupils in. And um, I might, well, I don't really like that one, so let's redo that. A little bit more to the center. Alright, so his pupils are supposed to be black, but... I want to leave a highlight in them. And then let's get some more detail around his pupil. over here as well I don't really like this eye but uh, I guess it's fine you can see a couple of teeth right there over here as well Yeah, that's basically basically it. And at this point I'm just starting to ruin it because I have no idea what more to add to it. Just trying to make it darker. Alright, but yeah, that's sort of my interpretation of Kong without a reference. I would say it looks uh, pretty alright, pretty decent in my opinion. It's not too bad. But you will have a lot of detail right here. All right, so let's see in the chat. Monkey, thank you, Jesus. What's going on? <laughs> uh, looking good. 
not English. Hold on, before deleting it, take screenshots, dinosaur drawer. Um, I have no idea how to take screenshots, to be honest. Um, print screen. Um, it doesn't always work. Oh wait, maybe. Let's see. I cannot figure out. Wait, that did something, didn't it? Yeah, it definitely did something. I'll just have to uh, search for it. But yeah. That's basically how to draw the head of Kong. Let's get a little bit more uh, detail in his fur over here. Get a little bit more contrast in it. Yeah, I've tried to press Alt and print screen, but for some reason it won't work. It doesn't really do anything. All right. Yeah, come on, Justin. Um. So, do you have any suggestions to what I could draw right now? And uh, please let it be anything from uh could be anything from dinosaurs to prehistoric or movie monsters.
but I can just save this one if I really like, if I really want to. I just don't really. Well, let's let's save it. Um, save as. Oh, all right. All right. I mean, I could use this as a thumbnail. Um, draw. Postporosaurus. Wait, what is that? Let me check real quick. Postporosaurus. Um, it's it's a marine reptile, I'm guessing. Yeah, it is. All right. Um. All right. <coughs> so now it's still there. You see. Let's first just erase the sun. All right, so let's see how can I draw something like this. So usually whenever I draw something, I first get used to it in a different angle from different angles and then um, I make a video about it. But in this case, I don't really have time to practice. So, um, it basically it basically looks a lot like uh, the Mosasaurus. All right, I can uh, I see a model of it. I'll just try to do the model real quick. Not sure if it's gonna turn out all right. In my end. I I really don't know what what it's gonna become. So let's hope it's gonna be something presentable I really don't know what I'm doing at this point but we'll see what it becomes. Let's zoom in a little bit because it just doesn't really, I cannot really see everything too well. I'm just gonna do a really quick sketch of it. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I, uh, I'm trying to save myself from this. <laughs> I have no idea how to draw this. All right. So there's a fin right here. There's a fin right here. It goes in a little bit at a different angle. And then his tail goes on like this. And then it goes like this, sort of. Um, it looks terrible, I'm sorry. It really does, doesn't it? All right, let's let's tweak it a little bit. I'm just gonna stop looking at my reference photo because I 
don't want to make it uh, exactly like the reference photo. I'm just going to try and do my own thing here. Try and fig figure out how it would look. I guess this is pretty okay, but a tail could be at a more more like an angle like this. Alright, that looks a little bit better in my opinion. So don't worry. Uh, normally, when I'm when I would be using a traditional, well, when I would be doing traditional art, um, I wouldn't press down too hard because I would be afraid to uh, to go too dark. But I can just uh, make the layer a little, uh, well, less visible. Let's say like that. So you can see through it a little bit. Alright, so let's make a new layer and let's put it to about there. Well, no, this is the wrong layer. Alright, that's better. So now I'm gonna get my brush a little smaller. And I'm gonna try and do my best at drawing it well. <laughs> So here's his neck, and his neck is supposed to be very chubby because there he would need a lot of blubber to uh, keep himself warm and protect him from from depths and stuff. Now you can see this is not a very big creature, but yeah, All right. So his eye would be about right there. And we can sort of see the an indentation over there, and his nostril would be right there, almost like a whale a nostril, which which would be uh, located a little bit more to about over there. But it's starting to come uh, farther back to his skull. Over here it goes out a little bit, just like in any reptile. And we have to mimic the same thing on the bottom jaw. Sort of represents a whale pretty much, or a dolphin. And um, his neck is supposed to be more like this, but I made his body a little bit too small. So yeah. Can make his body a little bit thicker over there. Make it look a little bit better. So let's just get his teeth in and then I'm gonna move on to the next creature because in my opinion I kind of failed. We could put a little bit of shadowing into it. Just a tiny little bit. Doesn't really make such a big change. So again, if you cannot really hear me very clearly or anything, just let me know because I can just put my audio up a little bit, my uh, my mic. All 
All right. So uh <laughs> wouldn't say it looks good, but it doesn't look too bad in my opinion. <clears throat> Don't forget to draw them big old eyes. In the reference photo they weren't too big, but I guess that in comparison with any normal land animal, uh, this would be considered big compared to his body size, I guess. But yeah. All right, let's zoom out and try to draw something different, something else. Hi, bro. I just saw Godzilla vs. Kong and your drawings from it look very great. Thanks, mate. Uh, don't... All right. So, does anyone have uh, a dinosaur that uh, you would like to see? drawn because uh, I don't really know what to draw <laughs> we can just uh, go back to Kong and uh, do his head from different poses I guess different angles Alright, so no one has a request, then let's just, just do something random. Um, or you could try to do one for a good sale. Alright, that's a good one. Uh, I must say that I am not really specialized at drawing Godzilla, <laughs> because his head is really difficult to draw to be honest, but I'll try to do my best uh, um, trying to get it right. So I'll just do that on a different uh, different file. It was a recently discovered Comsognatus. What was? Wait. Um... Wait, what are you talking about? It's a new Mosasaur. I don't even know. Oh, alright, that was the dinosaur. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm I'm stupid. But yeah, um, I thought you were talking to someone in the chat. I thought that's a quite a night a uh, quite a, a weird name to pronounce so all right you be roger ubatus <laughs> i have no idea how to pronounce it but we'll get to that let's first just try and do godzilla's head um okay i will have to get a reference photo for this one So Godzilla is really difficult to draw when you're talking about his head. It's um, not easy to draw his head from uh, different poses, different positions, or uh, I mean different angles. So uh, let's see.
Let's get a good reference photo, actually. Um, Godzilla's head from 2021. No. I guess this is a good photo. So <laughs> let's first draw it like this uh, over here. All right, so I'm just gonna start with a circle over here and then I'm gonna draw a line for his eye and this is pretty, so it goes like this. That's his eyebrow, his eye ridge. Then his jaw would be attached to that like this. And over here it goes out like this. His bottom jaw attaches to that area. And then it goes up. So then this part goes up at an angle. And then we go onto his neck. We see a lot of those um, spikes and plates over there. There's a very rounded lower jaw. And then this would be this would be the area where his eye would be, right there. So yeah, Godzilla is pretty difficult to draw in my opinion, to get it right. Because I cannot figure out how, the, I, I cannot figure out what is the best way to draw his head. In my opinion, that's one of my weaknesses, drawing Godzilla's head in different poses. So there's going to be shadow over here, shadow over there, shadow on the front of his face, the front of his nose and everything. There's going to be a nostril right there. Uh, he kind of has an eyebrow as well. Like this. So it doesn't look too good, but <laughs> it's still Godzilla. So his teeth look very nasty. There would be a lot of shadow over here as well. And uh, he actually has gills over here. So make sure you put them in as well. And then he does have a pretty long neck. Pretty thick long neck. And then over here, with, uh, here's already his uh, shoulder area. And attached to that shoulder would be huge arms. Not gonna draw in those. Well, let's do just one for the fun of it. Well, kind of warned you, 
I am terrible at this doing Godzilla but I mean it doesn't look too bad it always look better but it is sort of okay this other arm would be right here and then his belly I'm not gonna detail everything but yeah, that's just a really quick sketch of Godzilla. Alright, um, let's try and do the same thing but now from a different angle. So he has his eyebrow right there, sort of has the same principles of Kong. His mouth would be right there. He has a pretty big... I'm gonna make his jaws closed. neck would be right there and this is by the way all from imagination just trying to figure out what it would look like in a different position his eyes are a little bit I mean like his he is looking um, to the front but his eyes are a little bit more located to the sides so his eye would be right there, but we cannot really see it. He looks really sad in this particular drawing. But I mean, it's still Godzilla. He still looks pretty much like Godzilla. His jaw would be a little bit farther back, like over there. And then we would draw in his gills again. Draw the plates on his back. Well, maybe I went a little bit overboard too early with those plates because they're supposed to get bigger once we reach his uh, shoulder blades and then over here would be his well he, he does have a longer neck than this here would be his uh, or his chest actually this isn't his shoulder this is his, his chest coming out like right like like something like that over here as well so his chest is coming out a little bit and he would have uh, an arm attached to it and over here as well doesn't really look too good but again it's just just trying to try something new let's erase this well let's first look at some new comments in the chat um so geeft niet um it is a really weird name it really is so let's just erase this and make one more final sketch of his head uh, can somebody tell me for how long I've been streaming for? Because I'm trying not to go over, go past one hour. Or maybe, maybe I could go past one hour, but I don't want to make it too long. Okay. 
Okay, let's just first start off with a circle. Let's make Godzilla looking straight at us, sort of. Not really, but more like at an angle. So that's going to be his eye, um, the, the area where his eye is going to come from. He's going to have cheekbones right there. Just trying to figure out where everything everything is located at. His eye would be right there. The other eye would be right there. Sort of the same principle of Kong um, to capture his uh, emotions. They give it a sort of an eyebrow to make it look to make it look angry or make it look uh, mad well that's kind of the same thing but yeah you get the point let's make his bottom jaw opened gonna be a little bit smaller because it's at an angle so it's gonna look a little bit differently all right so <laughs> at this point this doesn't look really good so I'm gonna erase the bottom jaw and we're gonna try it again. Um, fifty-five minutes. All right, all right, that's fine. So let's make his uh, cheekbone come out a little bit more on this side, and then we can sort of refine his head a little bit more. Let me make it a little bit bigger. So this is, by the way, the, the way that I learn uh, how to draw different things. Just try and sketch something at an angle that you are not familiar with. And then just keep on doing that until you get something that looks decent. Alright, so this jaw would be opened, it would be located around here somewhere, I'm guessing. Just gonna draw it in squares at this point still. Well, let's just do it like this. I think this is more accurate, this is more like what it's supposed to look like. Still not really at the, the right angle. But it's getting there. Maybe a little bit more like this. Or maybe this is supposed to be a little bit more Angle down like that. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure it out, but I don't think I'm gonna figure it out in this video because I'm not really too good at doing 
uh, drawings at th three dimensional shapes. I know my eraser is way too big. Just don't want to change the shape because I'm lazy. <laughs> well something like this so this looks pretty close to the actual Godzilla from the movies um, I should have actually you know what I'm just gonna close his mouth because this doesn't really look good and I cannot figure it out how to make it look good so I'll just have to practice more doing this off screen to get better at it but not on the stream. So his face looks a lot like like that of a lizard, to be honest. He has some characteristics of a lizard. Alright, so this looks a lot better. So um, let's make it so that he is actually looking over his shoulder. He has huge hind legs, but I'm not gonna bother drawing them in for now because uh, we are just gonna focus on his face and everything. So let's zoom in a little. So. Um, I don't really have a, a reference anymore, so I'm just going to have to go with uh, what I know. His eyes are a little bit more shaped like this. And this one is kind of at an angle to where it looks like. It's just almost like a circle. Uh, so let's make him look angry giving him sort of an, an eyebrow that is at an angle to where it looks like he's angry. He has a lot of wrinkles going on around his, um, his eyes, just like with Kong. And he has some wrinkles going on right here as well on his snout. Uh, let's make the light source over here so that everything on this side will be darker because I kind of messed up with doing the uh, doing the outer line so yeah I usually do not stream but I just thought it would be kind of a good idea to try and stream for once <coughs> and it's really late for where I live but um, I think this video will be up uh, after I stop the stream, it will still be watchable for the ones that really want to watch it, and that's fine. So 
So I don't, I'm trying not to make too much of a shadow while doing some details over here. Because the shadow will be mostly over here. So, in my opinion, this head looks pretty, pretty movie accurate as well. It's not too bad. But I'm not going to put a crazy amount of detail into it. There's going to be a lot of shadow over here. Because of the... Uh, eyebrow area sort of creates a lot of shadow there is a lot of shadow over here as well normally I would draw in all the skills and everything but in this case I don't think I'm gonna draw in too many skills maybe a couple of them like you could put in a couple of them right here and there to sort of indicate that he does have skills but we're not gonna go too overboard with them so let's refine his his nostrils a little bit And he, it looks like he has, uh, well, it doesn't look like, but it looked like in a movie um, that he had things like that. Some wrinkles around his nose as well. I said looks like because um, I saw it in a movie, I guess, or I sort of noticed it a little bit. It's not too pronounced, probably overdid it in my version of Godzilla. But yeah, because uh, right now I'm not using a reference anymore. I drew this whole head without a reference. So let's focus on his bottom jaw. So there is going to be shadow over here as well because of the way that his uh, head is shaped. That means that there will be shadow over there as well, around his eyes. Well, we already had a lot of shadow right there, but that's fine. Do the same thing for his bottom jaw. What's my age? My age is I am 24 years old. I'm just gonna draw a couple of quick skills here and there. But there will be a lot of shadow on the bottom of his jaw. I kind of like this drawing to be honest, or this sketch. It's not yet a full drawing, but yeah, sort of starting to like what's going on. This is supposed to be way darker, by the way. Just 
just gonna uh, keep a couple of highlighted areas right there so that it doesn't get too dark right away I have no clue what the top of his head is supposed to look like so I'm just gonna try and do my best at drawing drawing it the way that I think that it would look hmm I need to put my laptop on a recharger all right So there's going to be a little bit more shadow over here than what there would be on the back of his head because uh, it is sloped a little bit. And the light source is right here. So it sort of creates a cast shadow onto his head. Alright, and then over here we will have a couple of areas that look like this. And then we would have some gills going on here. And they are closer together because of the angle that he's standing at. Normally they wouldn't be as close together as what we're seeing right now. Because they would be more stretched out over a certain area. Don't know how many gills he actually has. I'm just going to draw four of them. And I'm going to put some shadows on this side of it. They can cast a little bit of shadow going further down like this. but not too much. I have no idea what the rest of his body looks like because I do not have a photographic memory so I'm just gonna darken this area and then um, I think we're done with doing Godzilla. And this is exactly the reason why I shouldn't teach people how to do digital art because I'm just doing the same thing as what I would do with a pencil in a normal traditional artwork. And I have to say, I think I really captured the uh, Godzilla image that we are used to, used to seeing in the movies, or at least in the, the more recent Godzilla movies, because the Godzilla movies from now look a little different than the ones uh, from uh, a while ago. But... but it looks pretty pretty decent in my opinion so let's zoom out and let's erase everything that we don't want don't 
don't want to go too close to his head. But yeah, you get the idea. It looks um, decent. Alright, let's see what happened to the chat. Hey, Beanie! It's been a while. <laughs> Thanks for uh, showing up on my stream. And, uh, Thanks for the compliment, I guess. I'm just trying to get my phone on a recharger. Doesn't really want to work. I'm just attaching it to my laptop because I don't really have a recharger right here but <laughs> just keeps disconnecting so um, I'm using a Yuion uh, tablet You have a screenshot that you took of the movie. Uh, well, you could send it to me via Instagram, I guess. My Instagram is just dinosaur drawer. Yeah, indeed, he did. Um, to be honest, uh, I was just, I was trying to get one, but I didn't want to have, I didn't want to buy a really expensive one. Uh, so you just have to look at, uh, reviews and stuff. And Jessa actually did a couple of reviews about them and, um, they are actually really good. But I mean, like, this is the first, uh, the first time I'm using one of those things. So I cannot really measure it with anything else uh, about how good it is. I just find it to be, I mean like, it feels great. Yeah, um, I saw your screenshot uh, but I must say that it is really blurry, so it's really hard for me to uh, to make out everything. And uh, <laughs> like I said, I'm not really good at drawing Godzilla and everything. Uh, I have to practice a lot to uh, to get something done. Um, but like on Kong, his face is a little bit more human-like, so it's easier to put the, to put everything down. Um, right, let's do a new one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, um, I shouldn't be promoting this, but, uh, I just watch it from, uh, online sites. I mean, normally I would go to cinema, but, you know, the corona uh, stuff is going on now, so we really, we cannot really go to cinemas and stuff. Well, I mean, like... Um, to be honest, it's better to watch movies uh, in a more honest way, 
just uh, boy them, you know, because the people that are creating them also need to uh, get paid for their job, you know. So does anyone have a request for a dinosaur? It could be an, an iconic dinosaur or um, whatever. Wait, what do you mean, uh, any picture of a character in the movie? Does that also include drawings and stuff? Protoceratops. Alright, I'm just trying to... Get a reference photo ready. All right. Um, let's first get familiar with his head. So I'm just going to draw a circle. Wait. I have to make my brush a little bigger. So I'm just going to draw a circle. And then his eye would be right there. And then just draw something like this. And then his jaw would be about... He does not really have a very strong jaw, as it looks like. This is supposed to look a little bit more like this. First time actually drawing this, so I really have to get familiar with it. Um, all right. So let's try it at a little bit of a different angle. Um, yeah, let's do it like this. His uh, face is supposed to be a little bit longer, I guess. It's really hard to try and draw things from different angles and still make it look good. Um. All right, let's try and draw it from the back. It 
so I'm, I'm gonna try to draw it um, while it is standing on his hind legs Well, now it looks just more humanoid, which I should not try to do. Um, let's just try and draw it facing us a little bit. Well, let's. I'm just gonna try and use um, boxes to get what I want. So this would be his rib cage. Well, let's first draw a neck on it. I have a very messy way of sketching, as you can see. But it, for some reason, this helps me to uh, get the dinosaur down more accurately and get everything, place everything at the right position and, and stuff. I'm just going to draw it at the neutral pose. Well, I kind of messed up already. But, <laughs> I mean, this does not look right at all. But normally, what I would do is just keep on going and refine everything until it looks good. Um, so his body is supposed to be way bigger and then his tail is supposed to come from over there, going there. Well, let's just let's just first erase the things that I don't like. I don't like the legs. All right. So his hind, one of his hind legs should be right there. I think he has three toes on his hind leg. And then one is supposed to be about over here. He has a lot of them on his front legs. A lot of toes. Not even sure how many. Well, let, all right, this looks a little better. I'm still not happy with it, but I don't think I'm gonna get it any better in this video. I just have to practice a lot off camera to get it right. <laughs> all 
but I mean, we still have a protoceratops. If I would be able to to define it a little bit more and get a little bit more details in, I might actually be able to save it a little bit. Just gonna blur some areas. Gonna have shadow from his cheek. And a little bit of shadow on his toe. I mean, it doesn't look good at all, but no, it doesn't look good either if you zoom out. <laughs> Alright, there was this one, uh, someone wanted me to draw a, a new Compsognators or something. I'm first just going to check the chat again. Dinosaur Roar was one of my first ever subscribers way back. Yeah, I can remember when you still had like 100 subscribers. I was already subscribed by them. It looks good. We're all critical of our own art from time to time. Um, I know we're all critical, but um, I mean, I know I can do better, but it's just the fact that everyone is watching, so... Off camera, I do uh, a lot of sketches that look l way better than this one. Right, so. <laughs> yeah, just call it a Protoceratops from Jurassic Park. Right, so. Who wanted me to draw the the Compsognathus? Because I cannot find it. Um. All right. What was the name again? Fish eater? A bin binto rung. I have no idea what it is. Yeah, well, but you're at a completely different level than I am. So, um, for you, bad art is good art for me. <laughs> Ubirajara. Right, let's see. Let's look it up. Wait. And it has fetters right here. But why does it have like those are those feathers? Alright, I'll I'll try to recreate this as good as I can. Um, Alright, so first we can see his back right here. His rib cage would be about right here. His hip over here and then his tail goes like this uh, I'm running out of space so I'm not gonna draw the full tail he has a very strange looking head 
to be honest. I mean, it's it looks like a Compsognathus, but it's still very strange looking. And over here would be his um. Well, here would be his shoulder blades. His arms would go like this. Something like this. So then we see one finger right there, one finger here, and another one right there. Same thing on the other side. We can only see part of his other hand. Right, so he is at a running pose. And what we notice is that this bone is actually shorter than this one, which means that it was able to run pretty fast. And then this one is actually lifted into the air. All right, so let's put some flesh on it. So I can just layer of uh, lower down the opacity and then create a different layer and go over it. I do have to make my um, brush a little smaller though. Doesn't really, this doesn't always work pretty well on uh, Medibang. Right, let's zoom in on his head because I have no idea what his head what his head looks like. So his eye would be right around here. He has this really distinct um Gumsognatus jaw. Like that. And then his lower jaw goes back a tiny little bit like this. Comes back like that. I don't think we can really see his his eyebrow too well because there's going to be a lot of feathers covering it. So I want his back to go up a little bit over here. Gonna be a chest muscle right there. His hands aren't too hard to draw, to be honest, but it is tricky when you're trying to mimic it from the other side, I guess. I'm just going to draw through it because dinosaurs have a bump right there and then they go further into their tails. Well, it goes further into the till. <coughs> right, let's draw his, uh, his legs. So his knee is pretty high up. And over here his feet, uh, his foot will start. So we could just draw one Uh, toe like this and then draw the other one just going straight down like that um, then for this one well actually his uh, feet are way skinnier than what I 
than how I drew them. More like something like that. So let's pay attention to that over here as well. And his foot starts over there. All right, so it's gonna be one toe right here. A claw right there. And then this just goes into a very big talon right there. All right, let's put some flesh around his other hand. So dinosaurs would not have been able to um, to put their wrists at a different position um, because of the way they were built. And let's actually reduce the, the amount of muscle on his arms as well. So actually the Jurassic Park dinosaurs were inaccurate. So let's erase the things that we need to erase. So like right over there, and we could go into putting feathers in by making the brush a little bigger, not too big. But this size would be fine. And then I'm just gonna go up a little with the uh, Uh, with the gradient. <laughs> Couldn't find the right words for it. So he does have a lot of feathers going on everywhere. And this is the way how I draw feathers. It seems to work for me, at least. Doesn't mean it's gonna work for everyone, but it works for me. Um, he still is way too too uh, chubby, but that's because of the reference photo that I'm using. He has a lot of feathers, so that also it automatically means that his body will look bigger than it actually is in real life. Later on, I can just go back with uh, a darker gradient and put some more, um, well, have some different tones going on. But like I said, I'm not gonna, well, I, do, I don't know if I said it about this drawing. But I said it about Kong and Godzilla. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm just going to try and uh, draw as many requests as I can. So now I can just put the gradient down a little bit. I can create some shadowy areas. For example, on his toe. And his neck as well. Let's make his neck a little bit thicker. 
by adding more feathers. Yeah, this is just an easy way that I figured out how to put in some feathers into digital art. But yeah, all right, let's get into the next one. Let's first just <laughs> check out the chat again. Um, doing good, need to get my stuff organized for drawing again. Dinosaur Roar, do you have a Twitter or uh, a Twitter at all? I do not have a Twitter, not yet at least. I'm planning on getting it, but I don't have it at the moment. Um, the eyebrows could be just a tough of fur. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking about because you cannot really see too much of it. What kind of mic are you using? Audio quality is really good. Well, I'm using my gaming mic. Um, I have an Xbox and uh, I have a turtle. Well, yeah, I, I have a turtle bead kind of like headset, which um, works pretty well. Now that I remember, I posted those drawings that I watched from your tutorials on Instagram. Nice. I think I actually saw them. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it's uh, my my headset is a Astro Astro A10. <laughs> um can you draw a bin to wrong? It's an animal alive today. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't really specialize in, well, I don't even specialize in drawing dinosaurs, but I'm just better at drawing dinosaurs and other stuff. Uh, wait, what was it called again? The bin to wrong. <laughs> All right. Um, it looks funny. I'll just try to draw his head at least. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get it right instantly, but we'll see. Let's get my brush down a little more. My brush size, I mean. All right. So. Wait, my phone isn't charging anymore. All right, so we'll start with drawing a circle. We want to have the line where his eyes are going to be at. Let's already put his eyes in. And then his nose would be somewhere around over here. This would be his jawbone on both sides. It is a really, really strange creature, I must say. Looks pretty unique, I guess. Um, guess his head looks something like this and then if he would include his body then his neck would go like this his spine would be right here actually going down like this and then his shoulder blades 
go kind of like this, I guess. He's holding on to a pole. This is really hard to draw, to be honest. It's really hard. <laughs> I'm not such a great drawer yet. I'm practicing though, but I'm, I'm still not at the place where I want to be at in drawing. This is one of his uh, legs, I guess. I don't know if he has a tail or anything, but this is all that we can see. And he's holding on to some poles that are, well, this pole goes like this. And these poles are like... put together with some ropes and we can see some ropes but it's a really uh, unique creature I would say <laughs> it looks uh, pretty awesome and he is sort of looking at us he has those patches above his eyes but we I don't think I should draw them in Because his eye would just look kind of he would lose the image of his eye because I'm not gonna draw too much detail in it. But yeah, he has some fur. By the way, we can see part of his ear right here. Over here as well, just a tiny bit. But he has those, his ears are sticking out really, <coughs> really wide to the sides of his head. And the only thing we basically see is a bunch of fur, to be honest. He's just trying to hold on to whatever he's sitting on. Well, if I go, f no, if I go on, I'll just ruin the uh, the drawing. I mean, it's not a really good drawing or anything, but it's. I'm trying not to get into too much detail. All right. <laughs> Let's check the comments again. Or the chat. Um. Okay. I might have to get one of those headsets. Normally, I'm not a fan of headsets, mics, but yours sounds great. Um, yeah, it's a really good mic to be honest, but it also it could also be just the uh, the way that your computer uh, translates it. I mean, like it, your computer could could make it sound like it's really distorted or anything. Um, I'm not sure how it works. I like the drawing of the Giganotosaurus you did a few weeks ago. Thanks, mate. Um, I have been researching, researching it. It still is as long as its body and its tail is 
prehensile. All right, well, uh, I couldn't really see a tail on the image that I was using, but the creature looks really, really funny. <laughs> My mobile, my, my phone is making a little bit of i uh, I'm just going to get it off the... Alright, so... Um, someone asked me to draw the Allosaurus earlier. Um... Let's see. Who was who was asking for the Allosaurus? <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, I do. I need a new one. Um, I actually have one, but um, I kind of have it somewhere tangled up around my uh, my bed and uh, <laughs> I mean like if I have to uh, take it out of there put it in my laptop every single time I use it I mean I, I use the cable I would rather just use this one so that's the reason why I'm using this one at the moment crazy Scotty Oh, the crazy Scott. All right. So you asked me to draw the Allosaurus. Which one would you rather? Well, which one would you like me to draw first, the Allosaurus or the T-Rex? I don't know if there's any um any delay in the in me talking and, and you guys hearing it. I'm guessing there is or Scott is just not responding. You know what, I'm just gonna try and do a accurate Tyrannosaurus drawing. Well, this isn't what I wanted to, to look like. No matter what I do, for some reason all my T-Rexes look like Jurassic Park T-Rexes and I, and I don't know how to get rid of it. Well, I kind of know, it's just that I, n I almost never draw a accurate t Tyrannosaurus. So, that way all of my T-Rexes look like uh, the Tyrannosaurus is from Jurassic Park.
just really quickly trying to draw a T-Rex. I think I created his, I made his neck way too long. Way too long. Maybe I can try and fix it a little bit. That it looks more natural. So, Beanie, to be honest, I take a lot of, uh, you really inspired me to start drawing, uh, to start and try to learn how to draw dinosaurs from different angles, because um, I really never did dinosaurs from different angles before, and whenever I saw your videos, you just it looked like you were extremely comfortable drawing them. In whatever position you like them to be and uh, really inspired me to start and learn how to do uh, dinosaurs from different poses and I mean like I'm still not <laughs> I'm still not there but I'm starting to uh, understand certain things that I didn't before. And those certain things um, help, I mean like they help me to improve a lot. I find it way easier to draw uh, dinosaurs from, like when I'm trying to, uh, when I'm trying to use a reference photo I usually do not really I didn't really uh, pick the more uh, advanced drawings if you know what I mean the ones that you really needed to be good at drawing for because I I didn't really feel comfortable but now I'm starting to learn how to um, yeah how to uh, get better at those things and I'm just gonna make this head a little bit larger so that his neck doesn't look so big All right, it's really messy, but I guess uh, <laughs> it's kind of okay. It's not too bad. Let's put in some teeth. All right, let's get an reference for the Allosaurus alright I think I'm gonna use a skeleton Uh, 
Oh, this doesn't look right. I keep drawing them at the same kind of same kind of way. Not sure why though. It just happens. But this would look like he is coming towards us. So he might be running actually. So let's make him lift up this leg. And let's get this leg to touch down on the ground right there. And then we can see his big he has very big arms. Claws as well. I didn't really draw them at the right angle. Normally I wouldn't be happy with it, but for this particular drawing, I think it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Just really quickly drawing this now. And I find it difficult to draw a foot like this because I cannot get his foot, I mean, I cannot get it to look like, um, I mean, at this particular angle, normally it would look like this or it would just look like this. Right? But for some reason, when I'm drawing it from this um, perspective, I find it hard to to make it look that way. I don't even know why. It's just, I find it really hard. Let's get a little bit more detail into his face. Um, yeah, all right, I'm just gonna <laughs> It doesn't, I mean, it's terrible, I know. But, I mean, like, I have done a couple of drawings that look pretty, like, I really like the Godzilla one because uh, this one is completely from my imagination. Well, it, I mean, like, it's not my imagination, but after studying it for a couple of times, it came out pretty okay, but after that, it just went from bad to to horrible. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to erase those. Because they, they look really bad. And these ones actually do look 
kind of okay. I'm just gonna check the uh, the chat for a little bit right now, and then I'm I think I'm gonna end the stream. <coughs> All right. Um. Scotty, if that's okay. Well, I kind of, I, I kind of drew a uh, a random T Rex. Try to make it look a little bit more accurate. But yeah. Currently in Bulgaria, it is two forty three. It is one fifty seven for me right now. Um, so I need to go to bed. Good night. Your drawings are amazing. Thanks, mate. And good night. Um, what helps to make accurate T-Rex is to make those eyebrows like the two circles. Alright, I'll try to remember that. I try, uh, I'll try my best. Uh, the Jurassic Park T-Rex is basically the eyebrows being pointier. Um, yeah, but it's also like the shape of his head is completely different. For example, uh, I'll just try, I'll just show you what I mean. I mean like normal T-Rex, his head would be more overly shaped like this, then his eyebrows would be like that. So this would be the shape of a normal T-Rex, I, I think, but in the Jurassic Park T-Rex it's more like this for some reason, <laughs> and then the eyebrows are like, like right there. So it's really I find it diff I mean like I've drawn the uh, Jurassic Park T-Rex so many times now I find it hard to uh, draw a more accurate T-Rex to be honest that's sort of my Yeah, my problem at the moment. Um, I'm still convinced they made the T-Rex intentionally inaccurate so they could trademark it for merchandise. Um, I'm not sure about that actually, because um, if you look at the uh, the animatronic, animatronic T-Rex, the, the the puppet that they used, it is actually his head is a lot thinner. But uh, for some reason, in the CGI version, his head looks different and it looks just more bulkier. I think T-Rex had lips because Jurassic Park T-Rex. I think he might have had lips to be honest, but I'm not sure because. Uh, a lot of lizards have lips, and um, almost the only uh, lizard or kind of animal with his with their teeth uh, outside of their mouths are crocodiles. But crocodiles uh, live in the water, so uh, it's like their teeth are always wet, and uh, I think their their teeth wouldn't be eroded that quickly so I think a lot of dinosaurs may actually have had lips to protect their teeth and keep them healthy um, alright because the Jurassic Park T-Rex stands on its own against the real T-Rex Sue Scotty and Victor Vic Victoria are the largest T-Rex skeletons found how big are they actually it looks like the Isle Rex sub adults. It might actually look like uh, the Isle Rex. I don't know what the Isle Rex looks like. 
Um, I always like making life difficult with different angles. Uh, yeah, I've I've seen that, and I'm really trying to, um, I'm really trying to uh, learn from that and try to pick up as much as I can from your videos. You can see in 3D. Um, <laughs> I mean, it almost looks like it. Uh, glad I could inspire you, mate. Looks like you're inspiring others as well. That's pretty cool. I like where it's going. Um, I have my phone, my computer, and my PlayStation in sync with your live stream. I'm weird. <laughs> um, it sounds pretty weird indeed, but I wouldn't say you are re weird. Uh, I like this pose. Which pose were you actually thinking about? Oh, I'm guessing you you were. Th uh, I mean, not thinking about talking about. I guess I'm guessing you're you were talking about the uh, the T Rex that I erased. Um, I think a drawing tablet is great because it makes it a lot easier to draw. But for some reason, like my uh, my pen is huge. So I've been drawing two drawing competition drawings and they both took me five hours. One of them is actually in the thumbnail of this video, my first ever uh, dinosaur digital painting. And uh, well, let's say I don't have any, my whole uh, middle finger is numb f from holding this pen for uh, five hours straight. My dad always said practice makes perfect. Um, I wouldn't say practice makes perfect. Uh, I would say practice makes better. Because you can never get it perfect. I'm thinking there's a lot of uh, delay in the in the actual stream I'm not sure why but I'm actually liking this T-Rex right here I am aware that it's an Jurassic Park T-Rex but it looks pretty cool and this one looks a lot more like the CGI uh, T-Rexes uh, that you see in the original Jurassic Park movies. I always have difficulty with drawing uh, dinosaur bodies without any without using a reference And this is, by the way, what I meant with whenever people are watching me, I can't get things right. And just this one time when I didn't really care and was just starting to draw something, I actually drew a pretty good shaped T-Rex head. <laughs> I drew exactly what I wanted to draw.
that I should probably stop drawing. <laughs> end the stream right here otherwise it would just get too uh, too long All right, so uh, for the people that are watching this stream later, please make sure you, sub you subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell so that you won't miss a single video. So uh, this was Dinosaur Drawer and goodbye and